Hey y'all, SEMA 2016 and Alloway's Hot Rod Shop is uh, debuting a 1965 Riviera. I know y'all are gonna love. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Toby, let me tell you, I am a huge fan of this one, brother. Thank you, Scotty. We're, uh, we're glad we uh, got it finished to be out here this week. What a gorgeous car. Thank tell, you. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's a 65 Riviera that uh, we did for Larry and Carrie Olson out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, it uh, has an Art Morrison front clip, uh, Curry Enterprises uh, rear trailing arms with a 90, uh, Curry 9 inch rear end, uh, Wheelwood disc brakes. Um, we basically kept the outside of the body uh, pretty much stock. We uh, removed some of the si body side trim, um, just a few pieces on the car, but pretty much tried to tuck the bumpers and, and tried to keep the car clean. Just cleaned it up a little bit. Yeah. And there's no emblems or anything on to say Riviera, and it probably would have had some back then. Uh, yes, it did have an emblem on the hood and one on the trunk. Man, what size wheels are you running? Those are 22 by 10s in the rear and 19 by 7s in the front. Did it have a uh, trunk latch on it? Uh, well, it had the uh, the keyhole, key yeah. uh, and uh, we put uh, used the low car cables uh, and, uh, with the factory latch to, to to use a release to open the trunk. Gotcha. Oh man, ever since. Now, of course, Alloways always builds really cool cars, and I shot a couple at the same time. And the El Camino is real popular, and I keep telling people they're going to unveil this at SEMA this week, right? Yes, Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock in the Armo booth. And I tell people, you like that El Camino, you just wait to see that Riviera. Man, nice job, guys. That is just one awesome hot ride. Thanks, Scotty. How cool is that now? Pretty bad looking in it. Dude, man, is this this is just an overall really cool car, of course, yeah. but man, you made this interior rock, dude. Well thank you. Uh actually Eric Brockmeyer drew it up and then we design you know, we designed it and put it into the car. Right. So, you know You took one of his designs and made it happen. Yeah, we yeah, exactly. You gotta be able to make it happen to make it happen. That's right. Mm -hmm. He does a great job of coming up with ideas, but it takes somebody to make those ideas reality. Right. Now, nice and of course some nice custom gauges. Yeah. And I like what you did with the console. Yeah, all, every bit of this is all custom made. It's not from here down. It's all all custom made. See, you, it's it not looks original. Like it came right from Buick, man. Yeah, right. And you said it's even been raised. Yeah, with the whole tunnel's been raised up. And originally on these Buicks, they they rolled around into the console right here. We've added all the bottom of these dash and made it look like original. Covered the top part of the dash in leather and all the sides, all the way down to the kick. You know, the through the kick panel, all that's covered in leather. Mm, mm, mm. Cut to fit, and you know, really. Um, dressed nice. it up. Very nice. Oh, I like it. I'm just amazed at how factory all this looks. I mean, <laughs> because this thing's got like 23s under the rear. It's been tubbed. Right. But you've turned the tub into back seats. Yeah, this whole this whole back area was a really project to do. Um, we've, we've made all this one piece from here all the way back to over there. That whole package tray area is all one piece. It goes up to the window, rolls down to here. So, I mean, that was... That was a pretty job, pretty big job in itself, getting all that done. And then these seats, like I said, there is tubs in behind it. So the sides of the seats with the tubs out, they're only about that thick, but you would never know it. Right. And it's still comfortable to set in. And originally, this bottom was all one piece with a with a center console. We've actually made this console come all the way back. Originally, it didn't have this console all the way back. It just stopped back right in here. And then the seat came over it. Mm -hmm. So we've we've incorporated it to where it looks like. It, Dude, it looks like a really cool package from Buick back yeah. in whatever year. What year is this thing, you know? 65. 65. Yeah. Man. And I, I just appreciate Bobby Alloway and the team over there allowing us to do these cars because, you know, that's that's a that's a lot of commitment, you know, and, and trust to, to get somebody to do an interior for you. Just turn you loose and say, here you go. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. I get that. Yeah. But you do all right. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do all right. I'll turn one over to you one day. All right. Now, very nice, Steve. Again, the boys, you and the boys rocking. What is that? It's got a That's leather. That's an original headline. style headliner oh, okay. in, this, in this car. I say we wanted to keep the original theme of it, but still be all custom. Right. A little bit original. I mean, the door panels obviously are not original looking. They're dimensional. They're 3D. You know, you can see that. And the back panels are 3D. Then we made all that aluminum trim, and it had it all chrome plated. And we made that center armrest pad, and it uh. Got the ends for it and put them on. So. No, I love it. Like I said, it looks like it could have came from uh, Buick in 1965, and these tubs just blow me away. The whole thing blows me away. Outside, inside, the car is gorgeous. Um, but 
how you hid those tubs. Man, mm -hmm. everybody did good on that. Kept it simple back here. We did, yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of room to work with. The gas tank is made underneath this floor right here, and it's flattened. And they did that so they keep it all underneath of the car real nice and clean. So then they put the gas tank in here, and then we covered all of this. Actually, behind here is a battery, and then you fill up the gas tank behind that panel. Oh, okay. And then you, your own off switch behind this one. And then we put leather inserts into the deck lid to clean all that up. But just a, yeah, just a nice clean right. trunk area. And then under here, you've taken something and kind of give it that nail head look to it, right? Uh, yes, that's actually a, a GM 502 crate engine that uh, we've put a Bobby's cam in from Mylon Kiesler from Kiesler Racing Engines, does a cam for us, and done, made the valve covers with those plates on top to make it look like the old nail head motors. So not only do you have your own wheels and your own style and your own look, now Bobby's got his own cam for his own sound? Yes, uh, Mylon, Mylon Kiesler has always uh, done a cam for us that uh, gives a distinct sound and uh, helps us uh, dump the heat, a little more heat out the exhaust pipes uh, and make the engine run a little cooler. So there you go from the 2016 SEMA show. Bobby Alloway, Alloway's Hot Rod 65 Riviera. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!